a family is on a road trip, the speed limit during the first 165 miles of the trip is 55 miles per hour, and the speed limit during the last 195 miles is 70 miles per hour. How many miles per hour over the speed limits must they drive in order to arrive at their destination in 5.5 hours? So we'll first assign a variable for the unknown. So we'll let x be equal to how many miles per hour over the speed limit they must drive in order to reach the destination in 5.5 hours. Which means the time it takes to travel the 165 miles plus the time it takes to travel the last 195 miles must equal 5.5 hours. So if we let t sub 1 be equal to the time it takes to travel the first 165 miles and t sub 2 equal the time it takes to travel the last 195 miles, then we know that t sub 1 plus t sub 2 must equal 5.5. So now we need to write an expression for t sub 1 and t sub 2. And because distance equals rate times time, where d equals rt, if we solve this equation for t, we would divide both sides by r, giving us t equals d divided by r, which means time is equal to distance divided by rate. And we'll use this quotient to set up the left side of the equation. t sub 1 is equal to distance of 165 miles divided by the rate traveled. So t sub 1 would be equal to 165 divided by, now it's not just going to be 55 miles per hour, it'll be 55 miles per hour plus the number of miles per hour over the speed limit. So we're going to divide by the quantity 55 plus x. So this is t sub 1 plus t sub 2 is going to be, again, distance divided by rate. The distance is 195 miles divided by the rate. Again, the rate is not just 70 miles per hour. It's going to be 70 miles per hour plus the number of miles per hour over the speed limit, so plus x. And again, this must equal 5.5. So this is the equation that we must solve for x. But before we solve for x, let's change the order of the addition in the denominators and also write 5.5 as a fraction. So we'll write this as 165 divided by the quantity x plus 55 plus 195 divided by the quantity x plus 70, and then 5.5 is equal to 5 and 1 half, which is equal to 11 halves. Remember, the 11 came from multiplying 2 and 5 and then adding 1. So this sum is equal to 11 halves. Let's solve this rational equation on the next slide. Our first step is to clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying each term or multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. In this case, notice how the denominators don't contain any common factors, and therefore the least common denominator is going to be 2 times the quantity x plus 55 times the quantity x plus 70. So now we're going to multiply each term or both sides of the equation by this product. So let's go ahead and set this up. If it's helpful, we can write these products as fractions with the denominator of 1. And now before multiplying, we'll simplify any common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice here we have a common factor of x plus 55 x plus 55 over x plus 55 simplifies to 1. Looking at this product, x plus 70 over x plus 70 simplifies to 1. And here, 2 over 2 simplifies to 1. Notice now all the denominators are going to be 1. So looking at this first product, 2 times 165 is equal to 330. So we'd have 330 times the quantity x plus 70 plus, here we have 2 times 195, that's 390, so we'd have 390 times the quantity x plus 55 equals, here we have 11 times the quantity x plus 55 times the quantity x plus 70. Our next step is to clear the parentheses. So we'll distribute here, here, and for this product, we'll multiply the two binomials first, so we'll have four products, one, two, three, and four. So distributing here, 
330 times x is 330x plus 330 times 70 is equal to 23,100 plus 390x plus 390 times 55 is equal to 21,450 equals 11 times x times x is x squared. And we have x times 70, that's 70x, plus 55 times x, that's 55x. 70x plus 55x is equal to 125x. And then 55 times 70 is equal to 3,850. Now let's combine the like terms on the left side. Notice how we have two x terms as well as two constants. So 330x plus 390x is equal to 720x plus 23,100 plus 21,450 is equal to 44,550 equals, on the right side we'll distribute, So we have 11x squared, 11 times 125x is equal to 1,375x, plus 11 times 3,850 is equal to 42,350. Notice how we have a quadratic equation. So now we'll set the equation equal to zero and see if we can solve by factoring. If it doesn't factor, we'll have to use the quadratic formula. Let's set the left side equal to zero by subtracting 720x on both sides, as well as subtracting 44,550. So simplifying, the left side is now zero. So we have zero equals 11x squared, 1,375x minus 720x is equal to 655x and 42,350 minus 44,550 is equal to negative 2,200. Unfortunately, this does not factor, and therefore we'll have to solve using the quadratic formula. Let's set this up on the next slide. Using the quadratic formula shown below, a is equal to 11, b is equal to 655, and c is equal to negative 2,200. So we would have x equals, in the numerator we'll have the opposite of b or negative b, which is negative 655 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 655 squared, minus four times a, which is 11, times c, which is negative 2,200. All this is divided by two times a, which is two times 11. So we have x equals, in the numerator we'll have negative 655 plus or minus the square root of 655 squared minus four times 11 times negative 2,200 comes out to 525,825. And this is divided by two times 11, which is 22. So we are gonna have two solutions here Let's go to the calculator and get decimal approximations for both solutions. So we'll put the numerator in parentheses. So I'll open parenthesis, negative 655 plus the square root of 525,825, right arrow, close parenthesis, and divided by 22. So one solution is approximately 3.1881. And for the second solution, let's press second enter, scroll back over to the plus sign, and change it to subtraction. And enter. The second solution is approximately negative 62.7335. So we do have two algebraic solutions that satisfy our equation, but remember, x is the number of miles per hour over the speed limit they must drive, 
in order to reach their destination in 5.5 hours. So in this situation, having a negative value for x doesn't make sense, and therefore we know x must be approximately 3.1881. So writing the answer as a complete sentence, the family must drive approximately 3.1881 miles per hour over the speed limit to arrive in 5.5 hours. I hope you found this helpful.